Okay, they tell us a description and we write a function that matches it. Amplitude of 3 means a is 3. Period is 4 pi. That isn't our b value, but it's related to our b value. If the period is 4 pi, you get the period by doing 2 pi divided by b. So 2 pi divided by b is 4 pi. After a little bit of algebra, that tells us that b is 0 0.5. Now, I feel bad shortcutting that. I'll show you how it really works. You do 2 pi divided by b equals 4 pi. Take the reciprocal on both sides. That gives you b over 2 pi equals 1 over 4 pi. And then you multiply both sides by 2 pi to get b by itself. 2 pi's cancel on the left, pi's cancel on the right, and you get 2 over 4, which is 1 half. So that's our b value. They said there is no phase shift. For all of these, that will mean c equals 0. c is the phase shift number. And d is the location of our midline, which they say is y equals 7. That means our d value is 7. So this wave has got to be y equals 3 sine 0 0.5 t plus 7. Are those parentheses necessary? Not technically, but I like putting them in because it makes it clearer that, okay, this is inside the sine, this is the argument of the sine function, and this is not. It helps people read this to see that the plus 7 has to be about the midline. It's not a phase shift. Without the parentheses, you have to go, well, I assume this 7 is meant to be the phase shift. I hope you didn't forget some important parentheses here. If you put them in, then they know that you remembered and that this 7 is supposed to be outside. Okay, amplitude of 5. Easy enough. Period is 0.5, so somebody did 2 pi divided by b to get the period, and the result they got was 0 0.5. Do the reciprocal on both sides, and you get b divided by 2 pi equals 1 over 0 0.5, which is 2. Multiply both sides by 2 pi, and you get b is 4 pi. Uh, C is 0 because there's no phase shift, and for D they say our midline value is minus 2. So our equation now is Y equals 5 sine 4 pi T. 4 pi is our B value, and then D is minus 2.